Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, mostly the video is going to be about changing the oil here. I realized that I've never actually filmed how I changed the oil on the Prius. So it's actually much easier than you would think on these cars. So this is a 2007 model. I think 2004 to 2009, they're all the same. So, so we got the engine on this side and the inverter on this side. So naturally your drain plug will be on the right side. So the first thing I do usually is I jack up the car on this side and then I'll show you guys the uh, the oil filter and plug underneath. So I just use the original jack that came with the car. You just find two little dots right here. That's where the strong point is. And that's it. Then you just raise it. So, you know, you want to get it relatively high, but not, you don't have to have it super high. You can get in there pretty easily. So I highly recommend using a stand jack because, you know, if that thing fails or the car rolls, it'll kill you. So unfortunately, I don't have one, so I'll have to be careful not to stick my whole body under there. All right, so you, before you do start draining the oil, you want to unscrew the fill cap here. The reason why is because it'll float a lot easier. In one. So and this could be a little tight from, you know, depending on the last time it was unscrewed. So. All right, so under here on the passenger side, here is your drain plug, which is really easy to get to. And the filter is right here. For the plug, it's a 14 millimeter. And it's easy as that, guys. So the oil's gonna drain the pan and then once it just starts dripping we'll bolt back in but before I do I want to show you what I do or what I like to do before I put this back in all right guys so as you can see the oil is pretty much out so here's the plug and what I like to do is put a little magnet right on top of the plug like that and the reason for that is, you know, just in the uh, cylinder liners on where the pistons rub up and down, they're actually made out of iron. So they do shed like little particles of iron and stuff. All the heavy stuff that goes down to the pan. So that, that's magnetic, obviously. So, and anything else that's magnetic, and this thing will grab it. That's why I like to put little magnets there. So we're just going to put this back in. And then just tighten it. Make sure you tighten it really good. That's about perfect. All right guys, so the next thing is the oil filter. And the oil filter is a little bit harder, but not bad either. So it's just right there. I forgot what the size of this is, guys. So, well actually it might be you know, 65 to 67. So it's one of those, let's see. Yeah, it's the 65 one, it looks like. And by the way guys, sorry for the rooster roostering. It's the neighbor's rooster. We actually have a rooster here. It should be a lot easier, yeah. So I'm just gonna break that loose. And there we go. So this thing's going on there a little tight because it's rusted, so it's got some resistance, but that's okay. So yeah, now that this is loose, all you gotta do is just make sure your pan is in the there. Unscrew it. And you're gonna have some leakage coming out, obviously. So usually I just unscrew it all the way and just put it, sometimes I'll put it in the pan, but probably I will this time too. Anyways, I'll get it out there later. So I'm guessing this is the better one a little bit than the other one I had in there. So basically what I like to do when I put a new filter in, especially this one because it screws up, is I want to fill it up, you know, about three quarters of the way at least. That way when the engine starts running, it's going to already have oil in there ready to go. And pour a little bit of oil in there. And that's it. And then you want to put some oil on the O-ring gasket here. The reason you want to do this is because you don't want it to like get stuck as you're putting it on there. You want it to slide really easy. Alright, so now all we got to do is go underneath the car. All right, and you want to make sure that this part is pretty clean and you know the old gasket is not on there from the old filter so that's important 
So you don't really have to wipe any of that down as long as it's, you know, don't have any dirt on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this new one on there. Just like that. So as you see guys, if you never changed oil, it's actually really easy on this second generation Prius. And what, you, okay, so what you're going to do next is you're going to tighten this as reasonably tight with your hand. Like whenever it gets pretty resistive, uh, then you stop. So I'm just going to go half a turn guys. Well, actually, I'm sorry. That's the wrong thing. It's actually a quarter of a turn, not a half a turn. So, from here to here where I'm at, about a little bit more. And that should be perfect right there. Yeah. Because you definitely don't want to over tighten this. For one thing, you'll squish that seal way too hard. You know, and it might have problems over, over the time. And another reason why is because later it would be extremely hard to get off if you tighten it too hard. So, but that should be great. So tighten it with your hand pretty hard until you can't turn it. Then go a quarter and that's it. That's usually my rule of thumb for these filters. And, and they're really tight on there, but not tight, not too tight where you know, can't get them off later. So yeah guys, that's it. We are done down here. So all we gotta do now is put some oil in it. All right guys, so we're here at the fill on the top. So normally what I do is I use a funnel. Um, I can do it without a funnel, but I'll probably spill some around because it's a really hard place to get to. So put about three quarts in and then check it. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it. So I put it probably around like three and a half in there, quarts. So that should be like pretty good, but we're about to check the dipstick down here. Alright guys, so... What you want to do is you want to wipe it off from your old oil on there and take a fresh reading. So as you can see, we're pretty much perfect. We're a little bit higher, but that's, you know, once the oil filter gets filled up and stuff, it'll be perfect. So pretty much we got the perfect amount of oil in there right now. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this oil, old oil into there, and then I'm going to recycle it. But before I do that, I still need to put this filter in this box, just like that. So that's good to go. Now we're just going to close this so we don't spill it by accident anywhere. And then later I just wipe this down with a rag so it's nice and clean for next time All right, so the next thing I like to do is to start the car And the reason for that is because I want to make sure that you know, there's no leaks underneath and The oil lights not gonna stay on So let's go ahead and power it on I'm gonna wait for it to start There it goes. Everything seems fine here. So as it's running, I like to check. You know, make sure it's not dripping anyway. I'm gonna go. So everything appears to be all right. No drippings or anything like that. And the engine's running fine. So, and it turns off obviously as you see. And I need to turn off this AC. Okay, so now that it's off, we can actually check. Make sure our line is still pretty good. And as you can see guys, it fell just a little bit. But that's pretty much fine. All right guys, so the next part is completely optional. I like to put some Marvel Mystery Oil into the gas tank. When I do oil changes, I always do this. And sometimes I'll put it in before the oil change, like 500 miles or so. This time I couldn't do that because I was not around. But in any case, I still like to put this stuff in the gas tank because, you know, to keep it lubricated and whatnot else for the uh, pump there. But I kind of like this stuff. I've been using it for many years, so I just go ahead and put it in. So 
so we're just gonna put a little bit in there they have markings here on the sides but I just eyeball this stuff I just like to put a little more than needed just like that now that should be good enough it's mostly for like to lubricate the system and you know the injectors and all that other stuff so and obviously if you're down here make sure all your other liquids are good like your brake fluid you know you might need some washer fluid this guy here the inverter fluid so by the way guys i got quite a few repair videos on this car so go check it out i got a playlist called prius i think i do have quite a few stuff with hybrid batteries also that'll be it for this video hopefully that was informative and if you've never changed your oil I, as you can see it's not very hard and plus for the money you save you can put in some good oil like synthetic and that's what we've been running on and these things run forever on that you know i don't worry about these things for 200,000 miles ever just change the oil anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and if you want to see more videos about the prius or check out the other videos if you're interested in these kind of videos and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace